Hello friends, I am architect Sonu Rai and so uh, in previous uh, video we discussed about the means basic uh, installation method of Revit architecture and in that video we just saw how to install it from Autodex website. So today uh, I will just uh, give a brief introduction about uh, how to use uh, Revit uh, Revit tools and commands and uh, this is uh, welcome window when you will uh, open Revit application the welcome screen will come and uh, in this uh, there are some sample projects which comes default in Revit which will be displayed here and uh, here it is uh, projects projects is the means uh, the drawing file which you will create in Revit in Revit it is called project and in CAD it is called drawing so in Revit we call it it as projects so and uh, here families families what do you mean by families families is uh, is uh, is like a, um, all the elements that you add to your Revit projects uh, like uh, uh, for example like wall roof doors windows and uh, furnitures whatever that is created with the help of families families uh, in AutoCAD uh, we used to use uh, like uh, blocks suppose you are making uh, furniture in your plan area in AutoCAD so you used to use block that uh, we used to download it from internet or we used to create by your ourselves and uh, the, so that is called plus that is somewhat similar uh, to families in Revit so in Revit also some families comes in default and some families we used to create by using various tools and uh, projects uh, already I told that this is called uh, means the drawing file so here you are seeing this is a uh, like open how you used to open your projects there and there here is also if you want to open new uh, projects then you can click here new and if you have any already older files that you have to click uh, click here open and here you are seeing that uh, construction template architecture template structure template and mechanical template so that that means template means uh, means the drawing file we which we will use to create your uh, like uh, plans and uh, sections and elevations or the projects which you are on working so for architects and interior design and they used to use uh, architecture template and for uh, construction people they used to use uh, construction template a structure engineer used a structure template and uh, mechanical and electrical and plumbing engineers they used to use mechanical template so if you are for architects and interior and you used to use this template to make our drawing area that uh, um, for example if you used to make your drawing in uh, AutoCAD in uh, model space so in Revit you used to use architecture template and uh, that will come to know one by one in, uh, in next videos and here are some resources uh, it comes in almost all software like 3ds max autocad if you want to get some online essential skill videos that also you can refer it here and if you want some help you can click here and get uh, online help so that uh, all you ca are familiar like in AutoCAD also we used to use like this type of resources so if you want to start your own project suppose you are starting from beginning you want to start from beginning you have to click either new if you suppose you are an architect uh, so you have to click here new and then here new project this window will open in this you have to select template file template file already I have told that these all or are the drawing space like a model space in AutoCAD which will use to create drawings so 
uh, for architects you have to select here drop down arrow and you have to select architecture template here to begin your project suppose uh, i am clicking here architecture template and after that you have to click ok to start your project or you will just uh, cross it and you can directly double click here and uh, you, you will go directly to your drawing area so uh, you have both the options either you select new and go to architecture template and click ok or you can double click here architecture template both will take you to the same destination so let's uh, begin so today is the uh, means uh, basic introduction about user interface so user interface is all the tools and uh, drawing area which are used in your project so let's uh, start i will just uh, select here new and uh, i will go to architecture template and then i will click ok so here we are and um, this is the drawing area drawing area in like in autocad you used to call it as model space and in revit you used to uh, create our drawings in this drawing area and uh, these are four uh, markers which are shown here so what is that that is called as elevation markers elevation markers are given in revit to create elevation suppose if you take your mouse here so it is showing views elevation north and if you are taking your mouse here it is showing view elevation west view elevation south and view elevation east so these all are just elevation markers to display elevations in drawing area so you should not get confused with these elevation markers these are called elevation markers and like uh, every software you will get some sets of tools on upper uh, part of uh, drawing area these are called like these all are called as ribbon so what is ribbon ribbon displays when you create a or open a file it provides all the tools necessary to create a project or family so suppose you are uh, you in revit uh, you are an architect or you or an architectural student uh, you are drawing your drawing area here so you will select all the tools and commands which are given in architectural uh, category like walls doors windows component columns roofs ceiling floor curtain system curtain grid mullion etc so these all are tools commonly known as uh, ribbon so and for a structural engineer also you will go to a structural part and all the tools uh, related to a structural drawing the uh, it is different from architectural uh, uh, means ribbon so it is all the tools are different from architectural tools so these all are all are used to create architectural drawings and um, these all are also associated with our uh, structural engineers then after that for architectural as an architectural student you will use annotate annotates are like dimensioning and all that will uh, come to know later massing and site is also important for architects and then you will go to uh, view also then this is also widely used by architects and then manage also and uh, then comes here modify panel which is also very important for architects to uh, say like in autocad used to move copy 
trim offset so in Revit also there are some commands which are used to copy move align and trim and uh, um, also a scale and array commands like that that will come one uh, we will study one by one here in later videos so these are called ribbon and here it is the logo of uh, Revit application is given and here it is written file if you click here here you can like in every software it is given if you want to open your new uh, file you can open it here or you want to uh, open your older file you can click open here you can save from here save as to different folders you can export your drawing in uh, suppose in uh, Revit you want to export it to CAD formats also you will select here CAD formats and uh, DWF file also here are many IFC files that will uh, know later and also there are many other things like image and animation is uh, suppose you want to save a image as jpg you will use this image and animation uh, suppose you want to s export your walkthrough also you will use walkthrough and here if you want to uh, take print of your drawing these all are you can like same like in autocad you will use this print command and also if you want to close this you can click here and uh, here are some options like user interface and all these uh, uh, means by default it it comes by Revit user interface you will use to uh, edit whenever it requires after that uh, uh, here if you'll go to your uh, close you can close your drawing area or you can if you want to exit you can exit and after this if you see here on top portion these all are called quick access toolbar some quick like open and shave uh, undo redo so these all are called quick excel access toolbar which we'll use uh, whenever we want to uh, use in our drawing project files so these are all quick access by here is uh, arrow is given suppose if you want to show below the ribbon suppose you want to show the this quick access, uh, access toolbars below the ribbon you will click here so below the ribbon so it will come below your ribbon which I will not recommend and uh, mostly I use so above the ribbon so it will go above your ribbon here it is the project name will be given here project floor plan and suppose if you want to uh, search any keyword you can type it here and uh, after that uh, here it is given properties so properties is uh, any uh, like uh, anything which you used to draw here some properties will like uh, floors walls and all everything they uh, their properties will be shown in properties palette this is called properties palette so it, it properties palette is a mod modeless dialog where you can view and modify the parameters that define the properties of element suppose uh, if I am drawing some wall here suppose the, uh, I am making here 8 inch wall and here it is uh, given basic wall generic 8 inch and some properties are shown here so whatever you will draw their properties will be shown in properties palette and this is known as project browser so project browser it shows a logical hierarchy for all the views and uh, a schedule sheets groups and other parts of the current projects like suppose you are uh, drawing any floor plans here their floor plans will be solo shown like level one level two these two levels comes by default in revit for uh, drawing another level uh, you will use uh, a draw um, you will have to go to in architecture and in later videos i will show how to draw 
new labels in drawing but by default in Revit there are only two labels and then your site uh, if you want to see your site plan you have to just double click you go to your site and then uh, here it is ceiling plans these all are uh, collectively known as project browser and also your elevations uh, east north south west everything seats schedule and quantities everything is collectively known as project browser suppose uh, by mistake you deleted your properties palette and project browser so most of the time uh, students and professionals they used to get confused so uh, if you want to bring your uh, properties and project browser back you have to go to view and here you can use user interface so uh, you will just click uh, there is drop down arrow is given you will click that arrow and you have to see for project browser you have to uh, by mistake it is unchecked after deleting so you have to just click project browser here so your project browser will come back and again you will go to uh, and you will click here properties and uh, and uh, your properties palette will return and it will be shown here so you have to keep the basic things in mind whenever you have uh, if you suppose by me uh, unintentionally you deleted your properties and project browser you have to go to view and then user interface and you have to check all the uncheck like project browser and properties so that thing will be shown again here so and in the below parts there are some uh, scales like uh, scales and uh, the like detail level course you know like uh, fine medium course that will come uh, i will make you understand later and here it is uh, some uh, graphic display of options are there and if suppose you if you want to show realistic view you will uh, click realistic if you want to show in colors you will show uh, consistent colors uh, if you want to show shaded you will use shaded drawing you suppose if you uh, want to work in wireframe you can wor work you will work in wireframe also so this will be uh, i will make you understand later videos uh, here are uh, some sun path if you are uh, in Revit because Revit is a beam modeling software so you will use sun path to show the location of sun and uh, uh, also the shadow here is shadow is given it is used to analyze our geographical location of the project and uh, here it is given some crop view if you want uh, uh, to crop your view you can use crop view and al also here some temporary hide or isolate that will <laughs> i will uh, give in details in next videos so this is the basics introduction of the user interface and these all are like uh, elevation markers and uh, in next video we'll see more in detail about how to use all these uh, user interface uh, ribbon and tools and uh, thanks for watching this video if you like my videos please please uh, uh, subscribe it and like it and give your comment and feedback and uh, i will make uh, new videos and i am trying to make a complete series on revit architecture 2019 thanks for watching thanks thanks